Hi friends, welcome to Tech RK ID YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that uh, grep command with uh, regular expressions. So, how this grep command can be worked along if you want to search a uh, content within a file. Example say that the, uh, the file has so many records like uh, lacks of records on the file in the sense text is there on that file but if you want to search what you need out of so many lines of text so if you want to do that then what you have to do example say that so the grep command is uh, there or not so the grep which is I'm using currently is that 2.20 2.20 is the version currently I'm using in this uh, machine so if grep command is not available then you have to install this uh, grep package then uh, the grep command will work okay or else you can also use yum what provides uh, grep then it provides the package name then um, you can do that so so here in this case I'm just going to use some uh, demo file this demo file contains a few lines out of these few lines if you would like to do some grepping then what you can do so how the grep is going to be used over here so you can simply say that grep and uh, provide your whatever the string if you are looking for and uh, provide the file name okay so what happens here is that uh, in this file name it grabs that particular string whatever you are searching for then it give you the result so as just i am showing you over here grab i am just grabbing for the first in the demo file so what happens the first line in this grab demo file is shown so but uh, in this demo file there are few lines so in that there is no line contains first but the first line contains the word called first that's why it shows that result over here okay in same way if I am going to use this f as a small then it does not show anything because the whatever the grep you are using it's a case sensitive thing so if you want to ignore the case then what you can do that uh, just use iPhone I which will uh, ignore the case which means that the word is in capital letters or small letters whatever it is it does not bother about that example say that um, I am just putting as a capital but it does not care about whatever it is so then it just do a in case sensitive okay which means that it ignore the case sensitive and it just provide you the result whatever it is so remember that if you not show that whatever the word is there it is case sensitive or not consistent if you want to ignore that case then you can just simply use iphone i along with the grip command so uh, searching for the text which is not matching the string example say that so in similar way i don't want to do a search okay except first whatever the remaining things are there just show me okay see this okay so here I did not use I you can also use I along with over here or else you can if you can see do this like this you can you have to remember what is there or not so if you can use I over here example say so which works fine so like that I found V in the sense which is not matching the string whatever you provide which means that in a reverse case if you want to uh, search in a reverse manner which means that instead of matching uh, do not match text should be to be shown over here using the iphone v okay in iphone v if you want to use some uh, more strings example say instead of uh, one string over here first right but if I want to use more than that, so you can simply use iPhone E expression over here, okay? Or you can combine uh, iPhone E expression over here within the 
quotation marks over here okay and go and write one more e over here and say last first and last in demo file so which is going to be ignored in this case so if you want to do a grep with um, both the things you can simply use if and e to grab those files okay this is the way you can eliminate whatever you don't want out of this text then you can uh, get the text output or the uh, grab put text output uh, uh, in the result so if you want to do a print the matching strings and it's after number of lines example say that um, uh, I am matching over here the grep command with the first right but not only the first line I want to display below two lines of that matching line then you can use this way is that grep okay I'm just using the string over here then capital A and I wanted to display two lines below that line see this like this so what happens the matching is the first one grep is matched then two lines are displayed after that or if you want to display only one line or if you want to display the three lines so this is the way you can use the grep to match the string and print after the number of lines after that okay that you can use it or if you want uh, uh, the same lines to be printed before and after okay before and after you can similarly use the same word or maybe i can i'm going to use uh, some different word within it has uh, all has all upper cases characters is there right i'm just going to use this one all and i'm going to show you that okay below line and up line which means that one line below one line up or if you want to show only this um, above line then you can simply use b okay or if you want to do a two lines more then you can do like this so a b c are the options a can show you below lines okay b can show you above lines okay c will show you one line above one line below so this is the grep options if you want to do something like this then you can do the stuff like this or if you want to search some recursively all these um, folders or the subfolders or sub files within the directory you can also use this grep so grep example say that uh, recursively contains whatever the data over here example say in home folder and uh, a library directory so then it will show you the detailed information about that right see this the files are grepped with the recursively on all some directories like this you can use iphone r as a recursively and iphone l is a listing the uh, uh, things okay along with the grep command maybe if you want to highlight some text with the different colors you can also use um, grep color is automatically added to the bash rc file that's why it um, by default it shows the color or if you want to change some um, uh, coloring example say over here uh, grep command iphone iphone are uh, just again just going to show you that uh, first in the demo file so which is the first is highlighted with the red color or if you don't want red color if you want to highlight with the different colors then what you can do over here it is that echo just call this um, uh, environment variable called grip underscore color okay which do not have any string over here so now i am just going to export this grip underscore color with the different values over here within the single quotations 1 semicolon 30 semicolon 42 this is the value i am just going to do that 
and um, now you can see that the highlight whatever the uh, matching word with the uh, green color see this green color value so like that there are some codes color codes okay so you can just uh, see that grape color codes based on that color codes you can um, modify this environment variable value then it will show you in that difference if you want uh, example say that yellow color over here so you can simply modify this value as 43 then it show you in yellow color like this so there are some colors matched over here then you can do that so example say if you want to do some matching the lines or whatever the uh, you are gripping some word the word is matched how many times just show me the count of matching strings example say grip I am just going to see that I can see over here say line in demo file so the line word has four times in this file see line one two and three four and five but this is ignored because I am not using case sensitive over here but if I use along with the case sensitive value the value would be 5 like that you can use this or search for files example say that uh, if you want to search some files which are files are matching the given strings example say if you want to search some files in this directory so say that grep iphone l i already show you in the above recursive method so say this um, demo star over here then whatever the file is matching that uh, demo over here will be grepped which means that the file will be showed over here See this demo file is there which means that if you want to grab you can do that so or else if you want to grab something over here example say I'm just going to show you some uh, var lag uh, messages over here okay with this uh, maybe with the pseudo options over here okay this there are so many content so many so many of content over here example say that uh, 26th content 25th content something like this right so out of this if you want to grab something like which is matching the exact the date or time or something like that okay what you can do over here it is that this is the matching line I would like to grab from that this file okay you can also along with the use pipe symbol to along with the different commands you can also use okay within the quotation marks i'm just doing this value and the cap character over here the cap character what it will do here is that whatever the line which is matching in the first then that will be shown over here see this out of so many lines what is matched over here this is the particular time period are the time period logs are matched which will be shown over here like that or else if, if you want to do direct grep over here slash var slash log messages okay then you can also do this way the same command over here you just paste over here the string then it will be matched the same values okay you can either use this way either use that way so but what is the output you are expecting which means that the match lines over here that, that is that is the starting the value beginning of the line with the cap symbol you can grab it or example say if you want to do in different way that I wanted to do uh, the lines which are ending with ending with uh, example say 
ending with demo over here in this file so you can simply use grep within the quotation marks say that uh, demo dollar sign just put a dollar sign so the dollar in the sense end of the line the demo contains whatever the contains in the whatever the lines are contains with the demo in the ending of the line which will be shown over here so beginning of the line and ending of the line so like this you can use the grep command to do uh, so many stuff out of the lacks of messages or the lacks of uh, uh, information uh, lacks of lines of information in the file if you want to grab a certain things example say uh, here or here cat slash etc slash password file which contains all the user information out of it I don't want to see all the user information I just wanted to see my user information over here you can simply do a grab with that or you can directly do a grab on this uh, password file okay with the particular string without using any other commands like this so which has so many lines but what are the information you want that can be shown there so like that the grep regular expression is going to be useful very very useful in while uh, digging out any issues or while you are searching for a certain strings on certain log file you can do this grep or if you want to search some recursive um, search on the files or listing the files you can do that uh, grep as well that's about the grep command thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask